One of the best things about traveling is going to different gyms and trying different styles, integrating with the local culture and integrating with that martial arts community. And that's what I like to do. I travel to more than 20 countries and most countries I've been to many gyms. So here is some red flags you want to pay attention to if you go on visit a jiu-jitsu gym. One of the red flags you could pay attention to is the warm-up. Do they warm up well, especially if it's a morning class or afternoon class, everybody's cold. And it's very important to have a good warm up. So is a warm up good? Do they actually give it enough time? Do you break a sweat in a warm up? Second, hygiene. And I think a lot of gyms now paying attention to it much more after the pandemic. Do they clean the mats? You know, does the gym stink? But keep in mind, it's a Jiu Jitsu gym. It should stink. But does it overly stink? Do people overly stink? Do they have long nails? Do they clean the mats? Are you getting a lot of scratches after your rolls? Those are very, very important things. And some of them are actually dependent on you. You have to be clean. You have to trim your nails, shower before you go to training, and be a gentleman and put some deodorant. Why not, right? Next, unsafe training methods. You might be wondering, what could they be? Or take down. Big tricks. Very tight and annoying style of drills. You know, like when you do drills, you want to go 20%, 10%, not even. Like you just want to help each other kind of drill and uh, practice that technique. But if everybody's tight and they're putting their elbows in your throat, you hitting the mats hard in your back, maybe it's not the right gym. There is so much your body can handle. And if you get thrown around every day, your back is gonna go, your neck is gonna go, your shoulders gonna go. So be careful and, and pick your battles. Another red flag would be a bad attitude. But a bad attitude anywhere is a red flag, right? But if you go to a gym and they're treating you like a beginner and no one's paying attention to you, maybe it's not the right gym for you. Next, some gyms don't like cross training. They don't like to see you go train somewhere else or they don't like other people coming and training in their gym. That's another red flag. You know, every gym has different style and there's something there you could learn. And I love going to different gyms. As a beginner also, you wanna see if they have beginner's classes. They are the best, because jujitsu is so complicated. And there's so many steps. And every submission, it's a long series of positions. You need to pay a lot of attention. So if they have a beginner's class, that is a major plus. They might not have it, it might be too small to have a beginner's class, but you might be training with them and they actually break it down to you a little bit more. The trainer comes to you and trying to help you out or your training partner, which a lot of gyms do, you know. A lot of jiu-jitsu guys are so kind and they take the time to try and teach you as you drill with them. We're coming towards the end. Now, if you are not tired towards the end of the class, Maybe it's not the right gym, because you should be tired. You should be very exhausted by the end of a jiu-jitsu class. If you're not, maybe it's not the right gym for you. And finally, don't believe the reviews. They might be good, they might be bad. You want to go there and check it out. Just sit on the sidelines and just watch them roll. See if you like them. See how they receive you. You know, do they check on you? If they do, that's a good gym with good attitude. And always remember, you can always say, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore right if someone goes hard on you and that happens you know it's, it's normal normally it's not a gym problem it's like a personal problem you know? it's a person to person thing you know you're all with someone is nice and kind then you're all with another guy goes for a huge takedown slam your back in the mats you know and you catch injuries doing this you know you can always tell that partner hey man can you slow it down or you can just tell him hey you know what i can't roll my back i just come up with something you know you don't have to deal with this stuff I hope this video helped you pick the right gym for you. If you like the video, please subscribe, like, and comment if you have been to a gym and if you have experienced some of those red flags that we just mentioned. Thank you so much. X Marshall, checking out. Peace.